Since last week I covered one of the most depressing films I've ever covered, that being Last House on the Left, this week I wanted something a little more fun. And that's when I went to my grab bag of amazing Japanese splatter films that I've slowly been collecting. Digital files. That I totally got legitly. And today's film is Biotherapy, a very short splatter sci-fi horror film from 1986. And it almost felt like a 1950s American sci-fi film, you know, with scientists and like laboratories and nonsensical pseudoscience, but with a lot and a lot of Japanese style 80s gore. Which by the way, if that sounds like something you'd like, this movie's free on YouTube. And it starts off with the opening kill, because this is also set up like a slasher, where we see the scientist working on a medicine, and that medicine is GT Medicine. Now what does GT stand for? No, for you Canadians, not Giant Tiger, but it stands for... I don't know, they never really say it. But apparently this medicine is very coveted because somebody shows up. Well, kind of. It looks like a shadow person that you'd see if you took too much Benadryl. And that shadow person, well, they're not a big fans of doctors, so they slaughter a doctor that was working on the medicine by popping out his eyes. And then we get the title screen, Biotherapy, which I don't know what that means. I mean, I know regular therapy, I, I've been there before, but biotherapy? No fucking clue. And then we see a group of scientists, aka our body count, talking about the GT medicine. And the two big bosses of these doctors, I guess, well, they get into a heated argument about the usage of the GT medicine. One of them is like, I did my own research, I'm getting paid copious amounts of money, I have carte blanche to do anything I want when it comes to GT medicine. And then the other is more moral or ethical, and he's like, no, you shouldn't mess with that, it's very dangerous, it has a purpose, blah blah blah. They get into an argument, and then the group of scientists split up. One of those is some guy, and he's our main character, but I didn't really take note of his name, because this is a 30 minute movie, and uh, most likely you won't have enough time to get attached to any of the characters, especially since half of them get brutalized. He's with this female scientist, you know, they talk and something happens and the character's girlfriend show up and she's pissed because he, she thinks that he has feelings for the female scientist. None of this matters because the next scene, the female scientist gets brutalized. She gets these kind of tubes that you know they use in labs. They have a scientific name, but I don't know it on the top of my head because I'm no scientist. I study history. I don't want a career in the future. The shadow person just shoves these tubes in our character's titties and they just start spraying blood. I have to say, the gore in this? Chef's kiss. Then our characters discover the body and of course they go see the cops, because who wouldn't? After they're done talking to the police, our main character sends his girlfriend home, but on her way there she meets another character who just drops a bunch of information at us. Basically the doctor that was killed last night was doing some research and that somebody, probably our main characters, should go to his home to find his research because, well, he was working on the GT medicine. For a 35 minute long movie, there's a lot of information dumps. <laughs> the detective shows up in the woods and our characters start running. After that, the girlfriend tells his boyfriend that they need to go to the doctor's research lab to get his research to discover the wonderful truth about the GT medicine. Over there, well, they meet our villain, the shadow person, who chases them around, but the shadow person gets disturbed by the detectives, who he will not appreciate because he'll murder them brutally, like he does most of the characters. After that, we get more information dumped, more backstory, because... Why not? And then we get the final fight between our characters and the shadow person, who ends up not being a shadow person, but an alien from another realm. And I have to say that the 
effects are incredible, the monster looks really good, especially since I'm watching this on a terrible 360p print that makes everything look good because I can't see most of it. So I assume the monster looks really cool. And he murders the doctor that basically told us everything up to this point in this bloody sequence. And her young, loving couple uses the power of love and friendship to destroy the monster. And by love and friendship, I mean acid and chemicals. And our main character swears that he'll finish the GT medicine and make it good and not bad for humankind. The end. <laughs> So what did I think of Biotherapy? I just love the name by the way. Uh, this film was actually uh, recommended by a viewer of mine, Vagelis Fear, which is a, an OG subscriber, a while ago. It usually takes me a while to get to movies that people have recommended me. And no, this isn't my favorite film of all time. I didn't, it didn't blow my shitter out. I just really enjoyed it. It has its moment, it's really well paced because it's 35 minutes, it better be well paced, and it has enough gore and great special effects to please any gore hounds. Plus it's that kind of weird mix. It reminded me a lot of the film Junk, which is a Japanese zombie film that is inspired by Italian zombie films from the 70s. And this one is like this weird 50s sci-fi themed film, but with 80s Japanese extraordinary gore. So I'd give this one a thumbs up, and like I said, it's fairly easy to find. There's a copy on this website. So go check it out. It's only 35 minutes. You won't regret it. Thank you and see you guys next time.